Okay, let's move on to IELTS speaking part two. And your topic is describe an invention that is useful in your daily life. Okay, there are plethora of inventions in science uh, and that are substantially useful in our daily lives. However, I would like to uh, talk about the one uh, which I found the more useful uh, and which has had a great influence on our daily lives. And that is mobile phone. Mobile phone is useful uh, for different purposes. Uh, we can use mobiles for communication. Uh, in educational institutes, uh, mobile phones are used. And uh, we use social media on mobile phones. And uh, it is quite easy to use mobile phones. Uh, and however, the people belong to the former ages uh, find it a bit difficult to use mobile phones. Uh, because of uh, they are a little bit uh, uneducated of uh, these features of mobile phones uh, but I think so that it is quite easy to use mobile phones uh, moreover uh, there are different features of mobile phones uh, for example for instance we communicate uh, through mobile phones from the corner of a, uh, from one place to another uh, place in the world and uh, it is a quite interesting feature I think so uh, moreover, uh, in different educational in institutes, depends on mobile phones. They run their systems via mobile phones, and uh, mobile phones features uh, uh, mobile phones. And they also uh, use mobile phones to send notes and uh, such as as well as uh, uh, study materials through mobile phones uh, in their education educational institutes. Okay, uh, thank you so much. One minute, 40 seconds. Overall, it's good, but there's a lot of repetition. You are using the same vocabulary time and again, mobile phone, smartphone, this gadget, this device. You can use a lot of words. So expand on your vocabulary. That will improve your bench score. And then secondly, brush up your English pronunciation. The way you pronounce certain words, the sounds of T, P, K, these sounds will further improve your uh, bench score in IELTS. Now we move on to speaking part three. What are uh, what are the qualities of inventors? Uh, the in inventors should be uh, very broad-minded uh, about the uh, previous inventions uh, that have been made. Uh, moreover, invent inventors should be uh, likely to be uh, very intelligent in terms of uh, inventing some other things. Okay, do you think only scientists can invent new things? Well, I don't think, uh, think so that uh, only scientists can invent new things. Uh, however, uh, 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 any uh, normal people can also invent things if he have... If they if he, have? If they have the skills to do so. so. Okay, that's good for part three. Your answers are short and try to brush up your grammar as well. Okay, so looking at your present performance, I'll give you six band. Uh, it can be 5.5 if examiner is strict, right? Okay. Uh, but generously, I've given you six band, right? Okay, okay thank you. Thank you.